Hey, what's up everybody? It's me, Chris Powell. Welcome back to Reshape the Nation. Now we're talking tips, tricks, and shortcuts. Something really important that I wanted to talk about is, of course, increasing regularity. Uh, so, many, so many folks, they don't understand exactly how much fecal matter that we can build up in the intestines. And of course, this is the portal to the body. There's a saying in, in the industry that says, a healthy body starts with a healthy gut. So one of the first things we need to do is clean the pipes. And, and so many people, they don't understand exactly how important your gut is because our gut can be loaded with fecal matter. We could be suffering from inflammation, so we're not absorbing our nutrients the right way. If we can't absorb our nutrients the right way, then we can't drive those nutrients, which is the, that's the life force that, that we feed the cells, which is going to get into all that muscle. We can't deliver those nutrients properly. So it's so important that we clean the pipes, we clean out the gut. And what do I mean by that? Well, essentially, if you follow the, the, uh, the digestive process moves from the stomach into the small intestine, then it goes into uh, the colon and then out. What we want to do is if we look at the small intestine, as long as it is and it wraps all up in there, there's only about 40 inches of pipe where, where the majority of our nutrients are digested. So we want to make sure that those 40 inches of pipe, they're clean, they're clean and clear so we can maximize nutrient absorption, absorption in there. So, so important that we're going to go ahead and clean those pipes and how do I do it, especially if we're not regular? Well, we, we hear about fiber, we talk about fiber, but um, one of the biggest things that's lacking from the fiber discussion is, of course, water. So fiber, granted, it's really, really important. And we're going to talk about some great sources of fiber right now. Some of the best and real life solutions that you can start to implement in your daily life right now is if you actually go pick up uh, some psyllium fiber husk or some kind of colon cleanse. You can get it at your local uh, health food store. In fact, most grocery stores actually have some kind of fiber solution like Metamucil or um, uh, they, there's, a, there's several others out there. You can get all kinds of different fiber blends. I'm going to show you really quick exactly what fiber does in the body. Now keep in mind, why does fiber work and how does it clean us out? Well, our body can't break fiber down. So if it can't break fiber down and absorb it, absorb it through the intestinal wall, then it stays in the intestines and it has to travel all the way down and it scrapes and scrubs everything on the way out. So it's important that we have enough fiber. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of this psyllium fiber husk that you can actually pick up at your local grocery store and I'm just going to place this, it's like a powdery substance, I'm going to place it into the cup here. Now I'm going to show you what happens when we put this, say we're going to throw this down the pipe. So I'm going to go ahead and put it, I'm going to swallow it, it's going to travel down the esophagus into the stomach, travel into the small intestine. Now what we've got though is just this fine little fiber powder. What this needs then is water. So watch this. This is the really cool part. So what happens when we hydrate ourselves? And if you've seen some of the lessons in the past, you'll see that the majority of Americans are dehydrated. 90% of Americans are dehydrated. Now, this fiber needs water. Fiber by itself just doesn't do the trick. Watch what happens when I mix it up with water. Give it a second here and it's going to make this kind of a gelatinous, apple saucy kind of crazy texture in there. Now what happens is that this fiber volumizes. Now because the body can't break it down, the fiber needs the water to pull it in. That fiber volumizes, then it travels down through the small intestine and it scrubs everything else out. And so that's how when we want to become regular again, we want to throw in the fiber, but we need water in there too. So these always go hand in hand, fiber and water. Check this out. Once again, now, the psyllium fiber husk, it's a great complement to any kind of nutrition regimen that you're on. You can sprinkle it in your juice, in your water, maybe in a protein shake, but when it comes to selecting high fiber foods, this is one of the best right here. These are lentils. And you're going to see me talk about lentils all the time. You're going to hear me talk about them because these lentils have the highest amount of fiber of any other food in the world, loaded with fiber, and they're absolutely incredible for you. So lentils, they're inexpensive too. You can pick them up at the grocery store for like 50 cents a bag, and it makes a ton of food. But they're so high in fiber, they're incredible for cleaning you out. Now once you've got the two in there, for most people, it actually does the trick. However, if it doesn't, then you can always use a stool softener, and that's a last minute resort, such as Dolcolax, Milk of Magnesia, and that's of course going to help pull more fluid from outside the intestine 
inside to create more bulk to the stool too as it, as it travels through the small intestine. So really important, a healthy body starts with a healthy gut and the first thing when it comes to any kind of transformation is to clean out those pipes. You got to clean them out so we can maximize those 40 inches of pipe to absorb all your nutrients. So glad you learned something, stay tuned, there's so much more to come.